So the way you think is everything about you. As he thinks, that is who he is. All right? So you might be driving the best of cars right now. If you're poor in your mind the way you think, and you're not rich, so let the word of God dwell richly in you. If it's not dwelling richly in you, you might soon lose it if you don't switch. Those who know their God, they will be strong and they will do exploit. You are here on a purpose for a purpose. You are here on an assignment. God is not just maintaining you and doing all the things he's doing because he wants you just to display stuff and, and to, 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 to just be on earth. You are here on a purpose for a purpose. Whether you work for the government, you're a politician, whatever you're doing, there's an assignment, there's a kingdom assignment. There's a reason why you're there. The Bible says they go from strength to strength. Everyone that appears before God, they go from strength to strength, not strength to weakness. So don't ever expect evil. Don't expect to go down. If anything happens, it will only take you further. Can somebody shout hallelujah? <laughs> Tap your neighbor and say, I'm a steward, I'm a steward, I'm a steward. Say, I'm just a custodian of his resources. If you let people stop you, you'll be in trouble. Know who you are. Know what God has called you. That I've always known. Don't hang around those who want you to operate like them. You have your uniqueness. And the reason why what you have is not popular is because you're not, you've, not, you've not risen to that level. I believe that some people, some ministries will take DNA from Koza. I, I believe so. He said, Lord, you, you, you reap where you have not sown. You reap where you have not sown. Did you know that the one he had was a seed from God? Have I lost you? When, when I gave it to you, I sowed the seed in your life. How could you say, I reap where I have not sown? I'm a sower. And because he had the wrong person, he thought God gave him because he liked his face. He did not know that God so seeds, expecting that you would do exploit for him when he comes back. By your marriage, God is expecting some things out of it. Two are better than one because they have a better reward for their life's assignment, their labor. There are apostles in this room without title. You will never be ordained. But God has ordained you from the foundation of the earth. Put a gift in you that will open doors where they will not open doors for people like me. That is why you must understand what you carry. There's a purpose for the resource you are given. There's a purpose. And if you don't understand it from here, God can advance you. Because you will mess it up. Life is about breathing in and breathing out. You have, you share. You have, that's how your system can move up. As a steward, you must make sure that you don't indulge greed. And some of you position yourself, everybody must be given to you. You never bless people. At any level, you must be a blessing. There's some things you must forget. Forget your past, forget your past pains, but never forget the God. Beware, lest when you have entered the promised land and you have eaten and you are full, you built beautiful houses and you have lived in them. Don't forget, beware that you forget that the Lord God is the one that gave you power to get wealth. Celebrate him somebody.